Hey, what's going on guys? Ralph Joseph here at St. Albert Dodge. What I got just behind me here is 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn packed with a V8 Hemi. This thing only has just about 35,000 kilometers, so you know you're winning with this one. But first and foremost, folks, let's take a look underneath the hood to see what we are working with, to see what powers this beast of a truck. 5.7 liter V8 Hemi iconic, one, three years in a row, engine, eight-speed automatic transmission, folks. And wherever you guys see the yellow, that's where you guys do your thing. Top up, fuel check. The rest you leave up to our mecha me amazing mechanics in the back there. All right, you got the chrome in the front a little bit. You got the front sensors, which is nice. Uh, nice daytime running lights, as you can already see, which kind of uh, gives a nice little aggressive look to it, which is phenomenal. Um, amazing aftermarket tires. 20 inch wheels, and look at these running boards. They go from the front all the way to the back, nice and chrome, which completes the chrome look on the front. The running boards, the handles, even these right here. You got the tow mirror as well, so you can pop it like that, pop it like that. That's one of the biggest features of this vehicle that I like. And did I mention this is a brilliant black as well? We move on to the back, folks, all right? You got your backup camera, dual exhaust. You got your uh, class four level hitch, backup sensors, of course. Soft little open with the push of a button once it opens up. So you're not, it's not just slamming down and you don't have to lift it. Sprayed in liner. You got this hook so you can kind of tie from here and adjust these the way you want to, left or right, and kind of can adjust whatever you have in the cargo there, which is nice. But let's take a look on the inside, see what we're working with. Hey, what's going on, guys? Ralph Joseph here at St. Albert Dodge. Just here to show you the inside of this 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn. First and foremost, this thing is packed with this premium cloth leather seats. So if you're not a fan of the leather, um, you'll really find this premium cloth really nice as well. And kind of in that grayish color as well. So it's not just black, it's not just gray, but it's kind of a combination of it. It got the front and the back of it, which is phenomenal. These seats are powered seats with the lumbar. So if you're doing a lot of highway driving or regular driving or long driving, um, you can really adjust the seats to kind of, you know, help the back a little bit and get nice and comfortable, right? If we move on to the driver, uh, the driver door, you got your power windows, power locks, standard stock. Move a little bit down here, you got your automatic lights. And uh, this one has a little special feature, all right? You got the adjustable pedals. So if you got the seat all comfortable and nice, and you just can't reach the pedals like myself, you can just bring it nice and close to you without having to adjust the entire seat closer to the steering wheel. So you can sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. All right, if you look at this leather wrapped steering wheel, heated by the way, you got your um, cruise control here. You got your gear limits on the bottom of it right here. And on the left side right here, you got your cluster dash navigation. So you can go up, down, left, right, side to side. And, well, not side to side, but kind of configure it the way you see fit. And once your phone is connected via Bluetooth, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, you're able to answer and end phone calls and use the voice command straight from this button, which is nice. Um, special tip, if you press and hold it, you're able to even use your Siri or Android Auto straight from your device by pressing and hold the voice command. Fun fact, but let's keep moving. Push button start. Of course, you got your um, axle locks as well. This is, when, this is a special big horn now, folks. You got the axle lock here. You got the four wheel automatic, four high, four low, two wheel drive. For me, I like to keep it in the four, boom. Four automatic, That's, that to me is a set it and forget it mode. You push it and you allow the system to do it so you don't have to even think about it. For those of you that want to kind of do a little bit something more, put in a two wheel drive or four high, four low, depending on what you're using it for, which is phenomenal. We move on to the 8.4 inch screen. Touch screen, by the way, nice HD. You got your AM, FM, Sirius XM right in the radio mode right here, which is nice. Another fun fact, while you're in the radio section, you can press this maps and you can still utilize the map while on the radio screen. So if you're going home or going to grandma's house or auntie's house, you can still see it on here while in the radio. You just press it like that and you're back on the radio screen, which is nice. You got your media mode. This thing, folks, I gotta break something down to you. This thing right here is built in CD player. This thing has a built in CD player just down here, all right? So for those of you that love your CDs, love you bumping your tunes and just can't find a vehicle that has a CD player that's newer, this thing already has you cover. Bumping your CDs, put all your CDs in here or here or wherever and have some fun and do your thing. That's what this media mode is for. You can insert your disc right in here and it will display it, um, what's playing and what's not playing. Or you can use your USB, um, aux or Bluetooth right from here as well. Climate, once it is on, it'll display 
right on here. Dual climate control, by the way. You got your heated seats, heated wheel, which you go into there. Boom, it will display it on there. You can access it from the climate or just below here. Um, so in the climate as well, you can kind of do your thing here or just go right below it and do your thing. Kind of adjust it the way you see fit. Um, and since it's dual climate control as well, no one's fighting for the heat or the AC anymore. Just find a temperature that you like, set it, not worry about it, let the passenger do his thing as well, which is nice. Controls already explained at the heated seats and the heated wheel. You can access the backup camera at any point in time of the ride, whether you're driving forward, whether you're parked like we are, and of course, reverse. You can zoom in as well at the top left here to see what's hooked on there. So if you got a little trailer hooked onto it or some bike racks, um, or a little storage unit, you absolutely can take a look at that. Navigation, of course, let's say if you're in the bush, no reception, no way of life of getting home, use the navigation. Or when you're in regular city driving and don't want to use your phone, you want to stay away from the device, navigation comes in perfectly handy. And you can program it to go automatically home or work. So you can just go in here, boom, wherever you're at, which is phenomenal. Phone, once your phone is connected via Bluetooth or Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, it'll display just below here. You're able to kind of mirror a lot of the apps on your phone right on here. So you don't have to be fidgeting with your phone and playing around with it and being distracted. That's the merit points right there and a the big ticket. We don't need that, all right? Right here, got you covered. Move on forward. I'm going to put it back to the radio station. You can mute it at any point in time and turn off the screen at any point in time. Sometimes, you know, in your back roads or on you know, a dark night, a little bit too bright, turn it off, no problem. You can access the heated seats and wheel button instead of it from the touchscreen at the bottom here as well, as well as the dual climate control. Kind of configure it the way you see fit best. You got your trailer braking control just down here, uh, traction control, tow, and the sensors on and off front and back. Let's say if you don't like it beeping, turn it off, no problem. See the pair just below here, which I mentioned, which is my favorite feature of this vehicle. You got your two USBs, your two USB Type C, and you got your aux ready to go for you. You got a little kind of phone storage. You can pop your phones right here. So instead of it bouncing all over the place, you can still do your thing and still see what's going on. Boom. Tons of storage down here. Very deep, very deep as well. And you can move this front and back and lift this up and get more storage back here as well. So if you need some storage, you need to hide some things, no problem, which is nice. You got a little bit of storage here. Um, open this up. You got some storage as well as another USB um, and you're locking and loaded. Um, another great thing about this vehicle is the amount of cup holders this comes equipped with. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, about fourteen cup holders. So that's enough cup holders for a week's worth of coffee, drinks, and energy drinks. So you're ready to go for any job. All right. Some storage in here, which is nice, which is great. And this thing does come equipped with the premium Alpine stereo system. Lastly, one of my all-time favorite features, nice panoramic, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Nice panoramic sunroof. When it goes all the way to the top there, you can really enjoy it, the way it uh, kind of uh, opens up. Let, let, let the hair out, let it breathe, have fun with it, do your thing. Folks, you gotta come on down and see this in person. Call or text me to book an appointment at 70-293-9444 or simply drive on down and ask for Ralph Joseph. I look forward to it. Okay.